It is so amazing how we are so easily divided. All it takes is one thing, to put people on one side of the fence or the other. And in this case, this little ball right here, it brings out the worst in people at times, but it can sometimes bring us together. But in this case, you are either on one side of the fence or you're on the other. And what I'm talking about is your favorite football team. And when it comes to your favorite football teams, we start to talk about the quarterbacks of this team. And for some reason, when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson, he is compared to every other quarterback in the league. And normally in the AFC North, we get the comparisons between Lamar and Joe Burrow. You can get with this, or you can get with that. I think it's over. Which of course we're division rivals we see each other twice maybe three times in a season so of course the comparisons are who is better you have that division rivalry going but in the case of the buffalo bills i don't know what the obsession is with comparing lamar jackson to josh Allen. yes they were in the same draft class yes they are two of the most elite quarterbacks in the game i myself as a fan of the ravens i can't take anything away from josh allen he is an outstanding player but I'm not going to use the accomplishments of Lamar Jackson to diminish what Josh Allen has done. Both of these quarterbacks came in the league at the same time and they have accomplished the same things. They've both been to an AFC Championship game and lost to the Kansas City Chiefs. And this is where the comparisons end. Josh Allen, more passing touchdowns. He has more passing yards. When it comes to Lamar Jackson, he has more MVPs, two to none. But for some reason, while Lamar Jackson was out here winning these MVPs, Buffalo fans thought to themselves, nobody cares about awards, it's stupid. They give it to the players, it's a DEI award. All of these things, instead of celebrating the greatness of their quarterback and the greatness of our quarterback, they want to compare and contrast and the award means nothing to them until right now. where statistically Josh Allen may be playing the best football in the NFL to date. You can argue that Sam Darnold might be up there with him, but we all know Sam Darnold may not be able to keep this up for a full season. And Josh Allen right now is leading the league in passer rating. He is second in the league in touchdowns. And to the surprise of many, he has not thrown an interception this season. And Lamar in an offense that is not predicated on passing and even maybe with the schematics and not having the weapons, is actually leading between the two quarterbacks when it comes to yardage. Lamar Jackson has thrown for 702 yards this season and Josh Allen has thrown for 657. Lamar is eighth in the league with 254 yards rushing and a touchdown. And Josh Allen only at this point has 85 yards rushing and two rushing touchdowns. Now to me, instead of bashing the two, instead of coming at this franchise, I do think the Buffalo Bills fans should be thanking the Baltimore Ravens because if it were not for us, we don't know where the trajectory of Josh Allen may be to this point in his career. Because if you remember in the back and the Ravens made him look so bad that they inserted Josh Allen into the lineup and he has not come out since. This is something that the Baltimore Ravens just do. Like we help other franchises out because we are a giving organization. We did the same thing with the Pittsburgh Steelers when we knocked out Tommy Maddox. They inserted Ben Roethlisberger and the rest is history. But with all things considered and you look at everything in totality, Josh Allen may have been set up a little bit better for success than Lamar Jackson has. Looking back at it, looking at the offensive coordinators that Josh Allen had compared to what Lamar Jackson had to work with night and day. You start off with Brian Dable. If you give Lamar Jackson a Brian Dayball and put him in that offense, who knows what type of things he can do, but yet we were stuck with Greg Roman. And also they have built around Josh Allen, giving him weapons. Now granted his second season, Josh Allen did pretty well. And then they gave him Stephon Diggs and he went on a four year run that is unlike most others inside of the NFL. But Lamar Jackson was never given an offensive coordinator that accentuated his strengths, nor was he given a number one wide receiver that has been dominant in the NFL. Coming over from Minnesota, Diggs was not the Diggs that we knew in Buffalo, but he was a damn good receiver playing opposite of Adam Thielen. During this time, Lamar Jackson has had the Willie Sneeze, the Seth Roberts, a stint with Hollywood Brown, Nelson Aguilar, a old Odell Beckham Jr., some guys that actually came off the couch in Des Bryant and Deshaun Jackson. So the two are not in a similar situation. So to me, I'm not understanding why every time I go on Twitter, Buffalo fans are constantly comparing Lamar Jackson to Josh Allen. 
Josh does for your team, what he needs to do. Lamar does for us what we need him to do, and maybe even more because he has a lot less to work with. And if you really want to get technical with it, Josh Allen is out there playing like Brett Favre, turning the ball over, leading the league in turnovers, even though this year he has toned it down. But the change came when they fired their offensive coordinator and decided to run the ball. So when they ran the ball more and took the ball out of the hands of Josh Allen, he became a more efficient quarterback. And once again, I'm I'm not taking anything away from that talent because I actually like Josh Allen and I think he is one of the best quarterbacks in the league and right now he may be the best at this moment from the way he is playing and leading his team. The Buffalo Bills are 3-0. and The Baltimore Ravens, due to certain factors, coaching being one of them, is 1-2. and But this Sunday, we get to put it all on the field. The Buffalo Bills come to M&T Bank Stadium to play Sunday night football against the Baltimore Ravens. And I think this would probably be the appropriate week that you compare the two quarterbacks. You're going into the season, you're looking at two of the maybe three to four powerhouses in the AFC, and you want to say, all right, my quarterback is going to come in there and show you all who the number one quarterback in the AFC is. I get all that. But the times that we are not playing each other, it is a constant from Buffalo Bills fans. Just tweet after tweet after mention after tweet about how much better Josh Allen is than Lamar Jones. Jackson. If Josh Allen keeps balling out, he's going to win Lamar a third MVP. <laughs> like just a whole bunch of crazy nonsense to me. Like I'm not understanding it. I don't know when this shift in Buffalo fandom came about, but I remember the Buffalo Bills fans as fans that were very respectful. Now, of course, you have your bobs and your jabs and you do all the trash talking and all of that. But now recently, some of these things are starting to get borderline disrespect. And I'm not really accustomed to this from Buffalo Bills fan, but I did see a shift last year when the Bills played the Kansas City Chiefs and the fans started throwing snowballs at Patrick Mahomes. I understand you root for your team, you love your team, but come on, when is it crossing the line? When are you going a little bit too far? So if you want to compare and you want to say that your quarterback is better, so be it. I would expect you to say nothing less because I'm always going to say my quarterback is the best quarterback in the league. Maybe sharing with Patrick Mahomes. But of course, as a fan of my team, these are the things that I'm going to say. So I would expect you to do nothing less. But what I'm not going to do is sit here and talk about how bad Josh Allen is, how he's not been good, how he's led the league in turnovers since he came into the league. He is an outstanding quarterback and I'm taking nothing from him. But for me to think that my quarterback is better than his, it does not take away from Josh Allen. I don't have to knock somebody down to bring somebody else up. And this is the thing that I think we are all forgetting when it comes to football. You can cheer on your quarterback, but why do you have to knock down the next man to elevate your quarterback to where he already is? Most consider him the second, maybe the best quarterback in the league, maybe third. Oh, well, there are 32 starting quarterbacks in the NFL and your quarterback is mentioned in the top three. Me personally, I don't give a damn where you rank Lamar. I'm past all of that. I could not care less read my lips i could not care less where you rank lamar all i'm worried about is my team winning a super bowl and this is something that i think buffalo bills fans forget and of all franchises maybe except for the minnesota vikings is something that you should be concentrating on yes if josh allen goes out here and wins the mvp award great for y'all but you all should be worried about winning a super bowl as a baltimore ravens fan I don't know anything about losing a Super Bowl. And for someone to go in and lose four consecutive, I'm sure that that hurts. And a great man once told me, hurt people hurt people. So I'm not sure if the hurt and the dissatisfaction of what came about from losing four Super Bowls is still ingrained in your psyche, but you do not have to take this out on other people. So come Sunday night, we are going to see which team is going to elevate their team past the other. This time, we get to put them both on the field and see how they do against each other's defenses. So this way, we can compare and contrast who's better. If by chance Buffalo comes in and Josh Allen does Josh Allen type things and they win the game, guess what? Now we can say, all right, you know what? I see what y'all talking about. Place him above Lamar. Maybe place him above Patrick Mahomes because he's not playing well right now and he's turning the ball over like Josh Allen used to. But if Lamar and the Ravens win and Lamar plays well, you may have to consider for what each team is using their quarterback for and how they utilize their skill sets, maybe Lamar may be better. But once again, does it really matter? 
does it matter who's better? You think that Josh Allen should have won the MVP when Lamar won him? Who? How was Lamar ranked the number one player in the NFL by his peers? By his peers. This wasn't a popularity contest. This was by a group of individuals that play the game of football that voted that man number one. This past season, his peers, after a second MVP, voted him number two. So I don't know where you get this DEI nonsense or he stole Josh Allen's award. Yes, Josh Allen played well. But what Lamar did was truly outstanding. Both years, he led the Ravens to a number one seed. Didn't win in the playoffs, but this is a regular season award. I, to my knowledge, since Josh Allen has been in the league, when have the Buffalo Bills been the number one seed? When have they dominated the best teams in the league? Yes, the Bills win a large number of games. Take nothing from them. I'm not even gonna knock them for playing in the AFC least where the competition year in and year out is a little bit suspect. The Ravens playing a division where three teams went to the playoffs last year. Not saying that the competition is better, but the competition is better. And Lamar took his team to greater heights. Lamar took his team past Patrick Mahomes and made it to the number one seed. And players and voters recognize these things. So from me to you, stop worrying about my quarterback and worry more about winning your first Super Bowl. Nah, man, I'm cool. <laughs>